Hey everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. If you're even slightly interested in farming or just want to watch a 22 year old farmer get some stuff done, you're in the right place. Don't forget guys, if you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Thank you. Good morning, Combine. This corn was planted towards the last half of May and it is wet. We've been going back and forth all morning. We've got about 30 acres done today so far. We've been having a pretty solid day. However, we have a little change of plans for jumping back to fields. I don't know if you guys remember or not, but months ago, there was a seed company that stuck out their neck for some 21 year old kid running around with a camera. And that was Champion Seed and they were our first sponsor. And this is the Champion Field. We got 40 acres of Champion Seed here. We got two different varieties on this. They brought their way wagon so that we can calibrate our in-command 1200 monitor so we have an accurate yield result. Granted off the monitor, it's not 100% accurate, but it should be within 1% with their way wagon and our monitor specs. And so we're gonna have a really, really good idea on how this is performing. The Champion guys just showed up, so let's go out there, talk to them for a little bit, and then we'll start plugging away on stuff, getting this calibrated, and then we'll come buying some corn oh yeah before we get out there i want you guys to guess what the corn's gonna do one of them's 111 day corn and the other one's 108 day corn before we get actual results write down in the comments and then afterwards you can go back and see how far off you were it's kind of cold out here out in the field we took off the end rows that was a different variety and we started down at that end when we planted it the first eight rows we have 61 a 19 and then the second eight rows is 58 a 18 and then it's checkered all the way across the field i'm brandon hume i'm the sales agronomist with champion seed uh, i work on our accordion product line and been kind of working with Cole here throughout the summer and the growing season looking at the crop uh, so we're here finally to uh, take out the take out the corn plot and see how it yielded. Hi, I'm Seth Hill from Champion Seed as well, co-owner of, of Champion Seed out of Ellsworth. So here to make sure Brandon's actually been doing something this summer with coal and not just playing around. So excited to see how this plot comes out. Which variety do you think is going to do best? My prediction is 61A19. What about you? I've got a back brain on that one too. That one seemed like it's had a lot of horsepower this year, so I'm going with that one as well. So this time of year, you know, standability and stock lodging is always a concern. So kind of the quick and easy way is to, to pinch the stocks. And if they kind of crumble under the pressure of your, your thumb and your index finger, uh, it's probably time to get in there and, and get them harvested. Um, but right now, you know, still feeling a, a pretty decent amount of uh, stock strength left in the plants and looking down the row, uh, everything seems to be standing really well, especially for uh, kind of an earlier, early May planting date. And already here in the middle of November, uh, definitely really pleased with uh, late season standability of both of these hybrids. We had a pretty good planting date on this. We planted it on May 4th, 2019. Today is November 20th. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a farmer. I don't usually remember the date. Yeah, it's November 20th today. So we're going to get this picked. Do our best anyway. Hopefully nothing breaks. When the Ag Leader guy came out to calibrate our monitor, we used their way wagon and come to find out it was off by 10 to 15%. So we're gonna use theirs so we know everything's right. And yes, that one is calibrated and is accurate. Are you kidding me? I can't take them anywhere. Sloppy. So what we did is we poked into the field a little bit. We got it to where our monitor said 4,000 pounds on it. And then we came back to the weigh cart. So we're gonna dump this in and then we're gonna measure the actual weight versus what our combine says. And then the computer does some configurating stuff and it figures out the difference in what it's off and it puts it where it needs to be. So we're gonna do this a couple different times at different speeds and then it'll dial it right in. This is pretty cool. We started at the same spot and we reached 4,000 pounds on the one variety right here and we reached 4,000 pounds on the other variety way back there. Right now, Brandon's doing some measuring stuff, something with the yield calculation. I don't really know fully how it works, but we'll let him explain that later. 
For some reason, he reminds me of a mailman. So I just got done wheeling the, uh, the first couple passes that Cole and I took. So what we're able to do is take the weight, the moisture, and the distance, and then there's a formula that'll take that for wet bushels we harvested and then convert that into uh, actual dry bushels. And then that's how we'll be able to make uh, an equal comparison of each hybrid uh, dried down to 15% how it yielded. We're plugging away on 61A19 right now. It's yielding pretty well. 235 to 250 is what we've seen on the monitor here. It fluctuates as we go across the field. It's pretty rare if you have a consistent yield from one side of the field to the other. There can be 20 bushel variances across as you go, just even on a simple flat pass such as the one we're on. We're gonna do a few more passes on 61A19 first just to get a good feel for how it's yielding across the field, not just a single pass across. And then we'll jump over to the southern number and we'll see how that's doing. Assuming this yield monitor is accurately calibrated, 61A19 over nine acres did 222.7 bushels an acre. We got 58A18 left here in the checkered, so we're gonna see how this does. We got more over there, but we're doing basically nine acre samples here just to get a good feel for across the entire field. We got some flat, we got some hills. That accounts for a lot of variances in the soil because we could have some areas that are yielding super high and some that are yielding low. So this gives us a nice average across the whole field. Cool, I just flipped open this magazine and there's a seed in here that says it'll do 248 bushels an acre. Why is the champion seed so bad at 225? That's kind of a loaded question that I just asked because there is a million variables that could make that difference. But one of the big things a lot of seed companies do is just take a little test strip across the field. When Brandon was doing the walking out measurements for the field, we did four different passes, two varieties of each. The one variety did 250 bushels an acre and the other one did 253. So what I'm saying is if we wanted to, we could have said that 58A18 did 253 bushels an acre and 61A19 did 250 bushels an acre. We wouldn't have been lying because that is what the numbers we got off those little passes were, but it's not an accurate representation of the whole field. So that's why you gotta take kind of some of those studies with a grain of salt because it could be a super good spot in the field and it's not getting a resemblance to the whole field. So that's why we did 33 acres. So that way we could get a feel for the entire field as we go across, not just one little honey picked area. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So right here with Cole, it's starting to get a little dark out. Combine at 58 A18 right now. This current spot we're in, it's yielding about 240, 18.6% uh, moisture. We are spilling a lot of corn off the side of the wagon. But uh, 58A18's been a, a really stable hybrid from us. Uh, so the late season standability here that we're, we're combining doesn't surprise me one bit. Uh, 61A19 was also standing really well. Uh, has, has had a lot of horsepower on yield potential this year. Throughout the whole growing season, you know, everything Cole and his dad and brother have done has been, you know, had a terrific plot here and, and a really fair test, I think, uh, from a, a good emergence, good stand counts. Um, side dress timely, planted timely, and uh, with the challenging fall we've had this year, 
Um, kind of running into a little bit of a later harvest, but uh, but moisture and standability have, have been pretty impressive on these two numbers. Cole, what are your thoughts on the two hybrids? When we planted this stuff, we were talking about 300 bushel corn, and not saying 300 bushel isn't out of the realm of possibility, but it doesn't look like we hit it on these varieties this year. But one thing about corn, and all farmers understand this, we could plant this variety this year, and it could be our absolute worst variety. And if we could come and plant it next year, it could be our very best. So there's a lot of variables that come into farming. I'm really impressed with this seed in general. How would these uh, these two champion hybrids in this particular field, uh, how would they compare to the other fields you've been harvesting with some of the other brands and other, other hybrids? Well, pretty much right on. We've had some that were yielding 30 bushels better, and we've had some that were yielding 30 bushels worse. So. I mean, it's, it's right in the middle, it's competing with all the others, so definitely not a big blowout. But, you know, with that being said, on you know different seeds performing well, the seed we had planted right beside this did yield better. About 20 bushels better, to be honest. Hey guys, I want to welcome you to a whole new segment of the video called Cole Was Wrong. So, I was going through the old Agfinity data on the iPad here, and come to find out, the seed we planted right next to the champion plot did not yield 250 bushels an acre. I don't know where I got that data from, but I was completely wrong. So let's whip out the old iPad here and open up the Agfinity app. The Agfinity app is what all the data from our Ag Leader monitor in the combine went up into the cloud on, so now we can view it from our iPad. And we got the champion field here. Well, the field around the champion field. This spot here that's not harvested, that's where the champion field is. Therefore, we have data for exactly what's beside the champion field. Let's use this little handy dandy feature where we can circle an area and then, oh man, my art skills are bad. Who? what was I doing? Let's circle the area here. We got roughly 17 acres. It yielded 212.7 bushels. The champion plot yielded 225. Therefore, it actually yielded better than what was right beside it. And then over here, we had another number completely different from this one. Let's see how that one yielded. 222.3. Hmm. I'd say the champion field did pretty good. Ah, so what about the best field that we harvested? Well, let's find out. We'll use our rough and dirty primitive drawing abilities here. 261.9. This was the best one. Don't know why that one was so good, but it was. How about the worst? Right here we have our worst farm. It did 137.6 bushels an acre over 34 acres. Not good at all. So as you can see, we were kind of all over the board this year on our planting stuff. Our early planted stuff did really well, hence the 261. And our late planted stuff, the 137.6, not so hot. So we are kind of all over the board a little bit. Champion was definitely towards the higher end. We had that planted a lot earlier compared to our other earlier planting stuff. It's either right at what all the other stuff was, or it's even a little better. Now I know we could have a seed that yields 300 bushels an acre, but if the bag costs $400 a bag, are we really making more money on it? More yield isn't always better if it's way more expensive to put into the ground. The Champion seed bags average $215 a bag and it yielded 225 bushels an acre. So you can plug that into your current operations numbers and you can see how profitable the seed would be for you. I know for us, $215 a bag is cheaper than what we paid for our other stuff. On the other stuff, we were anywhere from 215 on the low end and some of our higher costing seed was $285 a bag. Definitely something I'm going to be considering as a grower here because if I can buy seed for $215 a bag instead of $285 a bag and get the same yield, if not better yield, I'm making more money. We can plant a little over two acres with the bag, so it's roughly $100 an acre that we're planting with. Versus another type of seed that's $285 a bag, I'm making $40 more an acre. $40 an acre doesn't sound too bad. So you take that across 2,000 acres, 80 grand. I can do a lot of things with 80 grand. So Cole, the million dollar question, do you think we're gonna see more champion seed on the, the Corn Star operation next year? We definitely will. We really uh, like this. We've been impressed and Brandon's been phenomenal to work with. Therefore, with all this being said, if any of you guys are interested and looking more into what Champion has to offer or possibly purchasing some Champion seed, be sure to check out their website. The link is in the description. You can find all sorts of emails, addresses, phone numbers, whoever you want to call, get a hold of them. Super nice people. They'll answer all your questions. Like I said, we've been really impressed with this. 
I don't put anything on the channel here that I wouldn't use myself. So this is something I would use. It has the Corn Star seal of approval. Uh, Champion Seed, um, our main main sales footprint uh, covers all of Iowa, Nebraska, uh, good portions of northern and central Missouri, um, and then we get into southwest Minnesota a bit too. So uh, definitely an Iowa, a heavy Iowa presence uh, with a large um, Midwest footprint. Uh, we have 22 DSMs, district sales managers, servicing our sales geography. Um, we have about 100, 120 farmer dealers that, that uh, use and sell our product. Um, there's about eight of us in the office that are support staff for customers and salesmen. And then we have about eight full-time employees in our warehouse uh, working in uh, production, bagging, uh, cleaning the seed, putting it in the bag and getting it shipped out to our customers. It's about time they left, jeez. Fuel. Yeah, it's done another couple rounds in her. Okay guys, we have the champion plot fully picked. There's 33 acres here and it averaged 224 and a half bushels an acre. We can see here that this is color coded and we have a legend that we can follow to see what different parts of the field yielded in different areas. We harvested 7,400 bushels off this at 18.7% moisture. Rain is supposed to start in an hour and it's supposed to rain all night and basically all day tomorrow. So we just got done here. We're gonna call it a night. We're gonna bring everything home, put it in the main heated shop. That way it's not getting all wet. We can check everything over tomorrow, make sure everything's serviced off to snuff, do kind of a quick inspection of the machine to make sure everything's okay for the last bit of harvest here. With all that being said, we got 63 acres done today. Not a phenomenal day, but not a terrible day. We got about a week left to harvest, and then we'll be on to getting everything all cleaned up, repaired, and then work on stuff for planting. So there we have it guys, super clean rows, healthy plants, standing really nice, good stand, $215 a bag, 224 and a half bushel an acre average. Besides 300 bushels an acre, what better can you ask for there? I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different style than what I've done in the past, but I'm always wanting to push new things with the video and try formatting videos in different ways. I'm learning as I go. This is just the start. The first one's always the worst. They'll just get better from here. If you want to get more information about Champion Seed, go to their website, get a hold of them there. You can find out more, you can talk to people, whatever you need to do. We were super impressed with the Champion Seed this year. We would highly recommend it to anyone to plant, so be sure to go check them out. With that being said, this is the end of the video. If you liked the video, thumbs up. If you have any questions, write it down in the comments. And don't forget, to subscribe. Subscribing is completely free and all it does is notify you when I post. Okay, we've been talking a lot. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.